Hi guys. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted this crane on my Instagram story. A lot of people have asked about it. A lot of people have wondered what it is. So I just wanted to share with you what it is because um, the one that you saw in the Instagram video was actually a friend's crane. This is my own one. I've literally just got it. Um, brand new box and everything unopened and stuff. So it's by a company called Zun, Zien, I don't even know how you pronounce that. It's a three axis gimbal stabilizer. You can fit, you know, most cameras on it. Um, let's bring the box around to the back. So obviously it has like a bunch of features and stuff that it lists. And it says here, I don't know if you guys, if you guys can read that, but it says here, uh, suitable for cameras with weights between 350 grams and 1800 grams so um, that should be good enough for me I mean I don't really use anything crazy when it comes to my setups I mainly wanted to get this so that it's easier to vlog and easier to shoot stuff just on the go it's relatively cheap for it is I got this for like 670 pounds and it also comes with a few extra things like the quick release plate and some other little things so we'll open this up and show you guys what's in the box. Okay, so now that I've opened it up, it actually comes within this box, which was in this box. So, sort of like a military style box this is. Um, I'm doing this one handed, so bear with me. So it opens up. And obviously you get some nice sort of military style packaging and stuff, military style padding inside. So we'll start off with what's in the box. We've got a cleaning kit. I don't know what this is. I mean, don't know what's going on in there. Not sure, I'll open this later on. Um, user guide, obviously. Got a remote for wireless remote of some sort. I think this is one of the extras when I ordered my one. Um, quick release plate. Battery holder, charger thingy, which looks like it is micro USB. Hopefully that comes in focus. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's micro USB on both sides. That's weird. Um, batteries. I think the battery life on this is supposed to be pretty amazing. I've heard a lot of people say good things about it. And on the Amazon listing also said you get something like 12 hours of one use which is pretty amazing and then you get the gimbal there's also some little bits in here not sure what all of these things are still got to figure it all out really um, some other little bits uh, micro USB yeah micro USB cable for charging I assume handle which goes on the bottom I assume too and there's also a thread on the bottom so you can put it on a tripod if you want to. Um, and then obviously you got the crane itself. Um, pretty small as you can see. I mean, it fits in my hand really easily. Um, what I'll do is I'll set this all up and then I'll show you what it's like once it's all set up. All right guys, so I've got it all set up now. Um, it was right pain in the arse to set up, if I'm honest with you. It was very, very difficult. Um, as you can see, you know, I can pan it, I can zoom it around quite quickly, up and down. And obviously when I move around, it's so nice and smooth. I can move it close to me, away. But yeah, it is, it is pretty sweet, it is pretty sweet. I mean, the learning curve is still a bit high. I mean, it's not easy to set up. It's not easy to to get going because I was there for quite a while. I had to talk to one of my friends to set it all up. But I just wanted to show you guys it in motion and how it all basically works. Um, the only thing is, because obviously it's quite small, um, the microphone, my microphone catches. I don't know if you guys can see, but my microphone just catches there. And also at certain angles, the, it will end up hitting the bottom. So it's not perfect by all means, but it is very good. I mean, I'm surprised at how smooth this footage is. 
you know, I can move around really quick and it will be bang on. It's quite heavy. I mean, you want to operate it with two hands really at some points. Um, you can operate it with one hand if you're on the go, but if you're doing a lot of recording, you want to keep it in one hand. I mean, in both hands so that it's easier to use and manoeuvre. Well, it also obviously depends on your camera setup. I mean, um, if you, the lighter you go up here, the better. You know, if you can get a small lens and a small camera, um, you'll save, you, it will be so much more easier on the arms, you know. There's also a mode where um, if I do that, it will sort of like track around, it will track around really nicely. And in this mode, I can only tilt up and down. I can't tilt left and right. To tilt left and to, well, I mean turn it left and right. So if I want to turn it left and right, I have to actually move it left and right. And then when I click the mode button again, it stays in the same position. So, you know, I can go all the way around and it will actually stay in that same position. I can, on this mode, I can also use the joystick to uh, move it around. But yeah, in this mode, it's, it's pretty sweet because it will just stay in this position. So, you know, if you want to keep the camera panning or you want to keep it in one, in one angle, um, this is the perfect mode for it. Pretty sweet how it stays. <laughs> Bang on. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll record some more test footage with this um, so you guys can see it. I've also got a mate who's got one and I'll get him to record some stuff so we can basically compile some stuff together and show you guys what it's like.